What's up guys, this is the Rofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Great as the British Empire. So to pick up where we left off, we lay siege to Boston with just two troops because they only had two units in their garrison, and they decided to sally, so let's go and take them out. In theory, we win, because British infantry is just better. Uh, but the question will come down to tactics and positioning. So I think I want that hill. I don't want the wall because that is... It provides good cover but we don't get our volleys off the way we like. But I like this I think because it looks like we're in a good position to get some volleys into... I was going to say get some volleys into the flank of the enemy. Come on, get into position. So there's a, there's a unit here that's... There's a guy here that's running around. Okay, they don't have fire by rank, so... Very well. Run these guys into position. New men load and fire. So this is going to end up being... Yeah, so look, they're loading and firing. Ragtag. Whereas we can actually get... Can't get everyone to fire because there's a bit of terrain here that prevents us from deploying wide. But it does mean that we just pour fire, which means they do suffer more significantly from morale than we do. Well, in theory it does anyway. This is actually quite an interesting experiment. Whoa, I don't say we're going to waver. Ultimately, I always thought in fire by rank would always, always win against. I think what we do is we do this. Pull back out of range. Set up. Spin around. Reload. You're actually just out of range of this. That's not great. Let's pivot you into position. So I think... Hmm. It will be an interesting case study. I've never actually done unit v unit. See, at least my guys are happy they're up on the high ground. See, this unit's unhappy because it says they think they're losing. But at least we got one unit down to. We got them down to wavering. Both my units are confident. You can keep putting out a more constant volume of fire. Good. And they can both hit the 26th while they've got this fire superiority. So they're both going to ram volley after volley into the 26th while the 8th continue to dither. There is a bit of a bit of a targeting problem here. See, so what are you guys gonna do now? I think we push down like that. Those guys overran. Oh no, no ammo. Line, 
Bayonet charge then. It's not good, but we're gonna be run out of ammo first. There's not a lot we could do. Ah, see we ran out of ammo first because we were putting out so much. Ah, that's interesting though. So we ran out of ammo <laughs> ran out of ammo first, which meant we had to charge, which meant that they could they could engage us as we pushed in, which was interesting to know. Still, they only get two units as a they only get two units as a garrison, so when my troops from the south march up, they'll be enough to take the to take the city. Unless they recruit anything in there, which I don't think they will, because they've already got significant woes on the other fronts. So Prussia's pushing on to Poland with considerable troops. I don't mind if they if they want to take Poland out, that's fine. You're gonna run around and do some raiding. That is your prerogative. That raiding French army has been destroyed. The Mughals looks it looks like they did take a city back, I think, from the Marathas. They've taken my spot in the trade theatre, but that's okay. Okay, so I need to get that army that took Florida to march north to take Boston. I would like to try and make peace with Spain, but I don't think that's going to happen. So you're probably going to do your normal raiding routine. New town emerges. Dundee. Here, Dundee. Have a craft workshop. Although I've not got much income at all. I'm going to have to spend all this on two recruitment. Get you guys up there. You guys can replenish. Don't put them under siege, but just keep an eye on them. You're only one turn away. Is there anywhere that has doesn't have any has no good roads? You actually could be a church school because we do need to start converting and holding these regions in the south. So Spain. Peace and trade again. So if I offer you 10 gold a turn for 20 turns, I've heard someone in the comments talked about this being a trick. Just do that. To just try, I don't know, well, I don't know how, how that's probably too low to be of any good, but let's just try it. You guys can merge together, let's disband you. Merge the Dragoons and disband that Dragoon. Because can you guys leave that territory? You can. You guys can go... Okay, where's the best place to put you? Probably New Orleans. When this army's taken Boston, we can then get them south, combine the troops and sell them to go hit Havana. You're still on your way over to Santa Fe, just to see how many men they've got. Okay, let's get Oxford researching joint stock companies. Right, okay. Let's hop back over to Europe. So I'm, I'm content to let them be depleted because I don't have the cash to uh, reinforce a, an army after a big siege. That's my, one on my, that's my laptop tipping over. There we go. So I could assault them, but I've not got the cash to fix it. So I'm okay with just letting them deplete. The French have got significant problems at home. 
to be honest, I would like it if France was just knocked out completely. But then again, the problem is Boston may then turn into the United States. So we don't want that to happen. Pressure's marching on towards Poland. I think they're also at war with Russia, which would be great. Gentlemen's on their way back. Yeah, they're going to raid. Again, raiding is fine. Uh-oh. The Marathas are coming. Maybe that army that I've sent down to New Orleans will need to march north. That army that takes Boston will then have to go and attack wherever the Marathas attempt to land. Goddamn Marathas. Alliance broken between France and Spain. Uh, Nerdoy. Newport emerges at Newcastle. Let's build the trade port. And again, I've already run out of money again. Oh, cause so many of my places are being blockaded. Okay, you were one turn away. Now you are not. You guys combine. Just go take out Boston. This army here, march north. So who, well, who's at Santa Fe? It's a small territory, not worth a whole lot. So let's build, pick up a sloop, and then I'm going to ship this army over to Havana to get us access to a bunch more ports, towns, and goods. This army likely will not be able to leave for a while. Minus 12. If you guys left Kaintuck territory, you can. Okay, you need to hightail it north. It's those Marathas again, they're going to disappear. Unless they're doing something like they're transiting here. Like they're coming in here, then they're going somewhere else. Maybe. Kingston has been blockaded. So let's take our little fleet here. Go attack the race built galleon. Take it into our service. Get into port. Let's do some basic repairs. I mean, that's pretty damn tempting that they've the Dutch have they've lost Paramaribo because Cayenne's quite a valuable region to hold. Okay, election results. Let's check our ministers. We're all okay. Four star. Four stars good. Well, four four stars positive at least. So do you have any bonuses for military stuff? No. Plus one treasury, plus one navy, plus one management, plus one happiness. He's he's quite good. So he is... Well, our, tre our treasury and navy ministers are still really good. So he's still basically a four-star uh, four minister. Barnabas Newcomb would be pretty good. Harrod. <laughs> he just makes everyone unhappy. Spies continuing to spy. The Poles look like they are readying. But you men continue to siege Riga. Hey, they, re they recruited troops, but they immediately moved them out of Boston, which is pretty useful. 
Spain is moving a missionary to Florida because they know the presence of our church school, but at the very least our church school will counteract the activity of the agent. The Ottomans are on the march as well. At some point we're going to be drawn into war between the Ottomans and Prussia. Hey, there we go. This is what I wanted to happen. They can sally. We can destroy them before the walls. Take the city fairly cheaply if it takes longer. Then we can, we'll have to go hit Courland as well. I mean, they're a protectorate of Poland, so they're still... They already hate us. And we're not going to be at war with anyone new if we do attack them. This terrain's a bit funky, isn't it? So let's put men in the center. Actually, let's put... There's not really any great terrain to put... Some artillery to sit back lobbing round shot. Let's just put the grenadiers in on the right. I mean, I've left my you now my guns are pretty are too defended, too exposed there. Let's get my grenadiers both. Get both the grenadiers over here. I do need to redeploy this line then because there's a hole. I mean, to be honest, this right flank is going to push up. To be honest, my whole line is going to push up, actually. Because this position here is the... the better one. go. So let's get some cavalry over on the right. It does mean my artillery is a bit pants back here. Are you guys actually firing? No. <laughs> GG demi cannons. That artillery up here. But you guys, when you're limbered up, to try and go straight for that gap between the enemy defences. Well, that I probably want. Something like that. Come on, there we go. Push up the Brunswickers, General Bodyguard, keep pushing up. Might be able to get a volley into those Cossacks, although my men, they're winded, so I'm not going to do go too crazy in terms of trying to get them into the action. Highlanders, no, they're not hidden when they're on the move. Good, let's deploy 
all our guns. We'll actually have to play one facing that way. Actually, no, let's do one facing right. Two facing the right, because it looks like with the bulk of their en the enemy force is going to go, one facing that direction. Okay, they're hitting the flank of the 26th. push up with this this flank of infantry up here because then they'll get some good shots on the, the regiment of on the Cossacks. There's a regiment of horse hidden over here. Once my artillery's up, they're not gonna really have too much freedom to loiter. So this, you know, Cossacks, if they don't do something pretty rapidly, is going to be fodder. I mean, if they rout, they're going to definitely come back because they've not lost enough men to go away forever. Go the 26th. They've also take or going to take a hammering. You guys hit that regiment of horse. You guys hit that unit of Cossacks. First volley. Looks like some good shots there. Very good shots. Twelve cavalrymen dead. The twelfth have formed square in response to musketry. Not a good idea. The royal first royals are getting some shots off on them. You men and limber. Twenty sixth, they're likely to break. We do have a gun team engaging them, correct? Right. Make sure you guys don't hit. Make sure you guys hit that garrison line on the extreme right. Hey, they've gone hidden. Cheating. So I do know there's a regiment of horse out here, but I want to send some cavalry in to provoke them into moving. Show yourself. Show yourself. So sending up a regiment of horse. That regiment of horse is going to receive from fire from the 26th, the 28th. Okay, the enemy, enemy are away. You guys drop in square as well, probably too late. Let's also pick new targets. Cavalry on the flank. Okay, right. Come on, Grenad come on, cavalry, go help those grenadiers. So who's over here? Provincial cav, if they try and get out. Dragoons are losing here. There we go, the regiment of horse is broken here. Let's get the grenadiers over there to, to uh, cover the gate. You 
guys form a square, go back to the artillery. You hit that militia, you hit those infantry over there. You guys charge the militia, but I don't count on them winning. So all my grenadiers here, because they're going to drop into square formation. Engaging. None of them are. Attack the 26th. They're inflicting good kills on the militia, so let's then get my try get my cavalry back. Okay, you guys then roll up the flank. Militia unit coming in, so let's pick new artillery targets. Both hit the Cossacks. You guys hit the militia. You guys try scale the walls. No, no. There we go. I get these Cossacks over here to help fight the militia. Okay, so then these men... Swing around here, get the first Royal Welsh up onto the fort, then capture the walls, and to provide gunnery support. Brunswick Dragoons hit the Provincial Cavalry. Keep the grenadiers getting up the wall. Charge you guys in. The regiment of horse on the right. Hit the militia. There's also a unit of garrison line to keep an eye on. My clansmen have got something to say to these militiamen. The Brunswickers are probably more than enough to beat the provincial cow. My cover on the right flank, beating the militia. Two guns on the, or one gun on the right for sure. Hit that regiment there. Highlander warband. Get out of there. Infantry format. You guys push up. The guns on the left. You guys hit the second regiment. Brunswickers are doing good. You guys are getting up there in good time. I want to try and capture some of these guns to fire down into the rear of their position. That'd be pretty sweet. Uh, okay. Let's pivot. I think they're trying to shoot at the cannons. Provincial Cav, hopefully you, can you guys fire a volley down onto... Okay, let's get the grenadier, these grenadiers down into the fort. Let's try and get these guys to take positions up here. And I hope by giving them a run order, these guys spread out. I mean, it looks like those guys are going to run through the gate, which isn't quite what we want to do. Pretty strange formation for garrison line. They're all spread out like they were light infantry. 
But it looks like our Brunswickers, they were, they were losing slightly a minute there for a moment. So let's just go send those guys to hit the second regiment. Get you guys up to the gap here. Try and hit the third regiment. So they are wavering because they are under musket fire as well as cavalry attack. There they go. So the Grenadiers are going to turn the tide against the provincial cavalry here. That's the second. Very good. Send everyone else against the demi cannons. The artillery on the right. Engage the general. There we go. <laughs> there goes the demi cannons. general lost his aid and now he's had enough there we go heroic victory i don't know if the city is ours yet they might have sallied one turn before the end of the before they could hold out one turn before they couldn't hold out any longer oh good they've oh no the marathas have taken calcutta that's not good Thirteen colonies have been repelled near Boston. Oh dear, 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 dear. Hanover is pushing against the thirteen. The uh, the. Oh, so there. Understandably, they've declared war on all of us. I don't know why I called my allies in. Thank Christ, they joined us. That was a bad opportunity to lose some allies there. Should not have done that. Sneaky, sneaky Barbary states. Sneaky, sneaky pirates. Stop causing us problems. 600. We lose. Okay, we're going to get three for three grand next turn. New town emerges in Galway. Can't build anything that isn't a church school. So if I attack Vega, we don't demand the surrender. I'm going to water that though, because that's pretty much done. Proud and victorious. Let's see if they fancy marching across to hit us in Estonia. Can okay, I knock down this coaching in and replace it with a church school? I think is a good idea. New port emerges. Memo! Finally. But I can't exploit it yet. But what I can exploit... Well, hold on now. Can you guys leave Lower Louisiana? No. What if I leave behind my militia? Minus seven. First of all, I, mean, I could get, I could just go take the pirates out because they are causing us issues. Okay, if I'm going pirate bashing. Minus two. Okay, we can get away with it there. We might even have to move this militia unit back to the city as well. Or do I just go straight for Cuba anyway? Because Cuba... Well, let's, let's see what, how many forces are in Cuba. Not many, and they're already depleted. There is an army down here. Let's land in Cuba, because Cuba is worth only 300 for now. Let's move this sloop back to Fort Louis de la Mobile. There are the Marathas. Not a massive problem, because we've landed near this army. 
So if I took you guys out of it, minus seven. Zero, I can at least move these guys over to intercept. You guys actually, you guys actually come down here as well. Because this army is enough to take Boston. I mean, I'm going to auto that now because we've got plenty of men. So we've got Boston. So now is the time to try and peace with the French. Oh, fair enough. But Boston's ours. We're not going to exempt it from tax. We need that money. We need those 113 gold. Montreal's nearly entirely Protestant. Okay, incremental goals. Although actually there's... I might march you guys up to Boston just to regroup. So you men can regroup and then start to attack some of the Caribbean islands to expand our holdings. We've got our church school. So, hey, we're actually... Is this guy not a very good preacher? Doesn't look like it. Our church school has knocked the Catholic, Protest Catholic population down 22.5% in one go. That's pretty dope. I don't want to make you tax-free, although I don't need to either. Military tech, naval architecture advance is good. Let's go for puddling furnace. Just a straight wealth bonus. Increase, good. Alright, let's hit end turn another time. Fortunately, there's only so much... Well, now the French have lost Paris, there's only so much they can actually do to us. Spain might be a frustration. Good, the Poles push the Prussians away. We might not think of losing uh, losing the Prussians being beaten as a good thing, but it is. Yeah, the Prussians look there. The Russians are growing in strength. The Marathas are going to go hit Georgia. So let's see how many men we kill with our troops. With our... Uh, mo how many men our mortars kill? 352. Oh, I was going to say, it's nice of them to clear the pirates out. But we can go take Savannah back. We can... Oh, Corlin's going to clear away our trade fleets. I mean, they lost eight ships doing that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. These little nations can put so much money into... Uh, into holding these little trade, re trade regions. It's just not... It's not something I'm ever really bothered about doing. Uh, the risk reward is is quite high. So there we go. Corland has managed to wipe out that entire region, and I desperately need the money elsewhere. So I'm unlikely to build them up again. I'm more likely to use it to replenish and attack Corland and take them out, and then expand in the Americas rather than build up fleets. See, the Barbary states have moved straight in. But I've still got a good amount of cash important thing. So you guys can suck up a... Okay, let's actually just do it in parcels. First half of the unit. Take two grand. Heroic death. John Leake, one of our admirals. Fleet destroyed Earl Isaacs. But first of all, Dundee. You get a craft workshop. Let's sail this sick threat around to hold Newcastle. Lots of fleets destroyed, but I'm not that bothered. Oh, it was a uh, memel that grew, wasn't it? Upgrade memel to a trade port. Workers on strike in Lower Louisiana, but now they're okay. Oh, because now they're in the way. 
Right, okay. You guys continue to drive out to Boston. Fix the magistrate. Can't build anything we'd like to build, so let's build have both average yield farms. Low yield, high yield, that's pretty average yield. Right. High yield farm it is, although. 800 for craft workshops, pretty good. Well, f yeah, 800 for craft workshops, pretty good. Fundamental road upgrades are pretty good, would be nice as well. But I'll take what I can. I'm lucky then they're not moving south. New men can replenish there. But at least we've got Boston. That gives us something. Um, but looking at the timer, I think I'm going to end the episode there. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the British Empire. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>